Hi, this is Jamie Foster, and I'm going to take you on a tour of your My Math Lab course. Once you get registered and click into your My Math Lab account, you'll click on the title of your course, which in this case is Module 1, Introductory Geometry. Once you're actually inside the course, you'll see several things down through here. Notice that you won't have the bottom two things. But you will have all of the rest. What I'm going to do right now is to look at the resources from chapter content down to uh, multimedia library. In chapter content, notice up here it says chapter 11. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll and there's a toolbar right here that's tiny and you don't see it until you move over it. So you have to scroll your move your arrow over it. Otherwise, when you move over here, it doesn't do anything. It only moves what's on the right. So I'm going to scroll down then to chapter 11, and then I'm going to click on it. And in this module, we're actually going to cover chapter 11, sections 1, 2, 3, and 4. So when I click here, it's going to take me to the resources that are available, which includes a video presentation, and there's a study plan that's not required, but you can always do that will help you to become more familiar with the math problems that are in the module. But right here is your multimedia e-text that I talked about having in my math lab. And it will, when you click on it, it will open up your textbook and it will look exactly like the paper copy of a book. Um, it, you can scroll up and down here, and this is where Module uh, 1, Section 1 comes from. And right here in the middle of the page, you'll see, click into the right, moves you to the next page. And notice, there's an actual video embedded here in terms of explaining the lesson, and you can click and open that up and click play. So you can actually work through the textbook. And remember, there's a scroll mechanism here. and But you can move through the textbook. There's another video. There's more information. And keep on going until you finish this section. And you can look through what's there. You can read. And there's some very basic informational pieces about what you're studying that it's always very helpful to find um, in the e-text. Okay, I'm going to close this back now. But notice we will be completing 11, 12, 13, and then 9 and 10. Now, once we move beyond the chapters, there's also a section called Tools for Success. And in here you'll find several different things, including how to use a spreadsheet, graphing calculators, using a geometry drawing utility, and so forth. There are classroom videos that give a glimpse into what classrooms actually look like. There are expanded lessons with videos. Uh, when will I ever teach this? Video lecture podcasts. Geometry sketchpad information, there's a link. Um, E-manipulatives, and I'm going to click here. It will show you there's a link to all these variety of manipulatives that you can actually work on that are here in my math lab. Um, there are ABC News videos. And right here is a, there are some internet resources, and there are also printed manipulatives and activity videos. Um, or excuse me, activities. The manipulatives, if I click on pattern blocks, for example, I'm going to actually get a pattern block piece that could be cut out and could actually be used. If you wanted to do something with pattern blocks and don't have access to pattern blocks that are plastic or whatever. Um, NCTM principles and standards directly here, the focal point, uh, information about national teacher certification and student testing. The next link is a link to the multimedia library. Again, it's all based on chapters, so we'll click on introductory geometry. 
and then I'm just going to click on the first section and click select all and click find now. Then this will give you all of the multimedia resources. But guess what? When we do, when we actually click on, go back to the top and click on homework and show all, you're going to see the entire module and see all of these multimedia homeworks. This is where you can actually find a PowerPoint a video and a podcast okay that you could if you have iTunes review that okay we'll click OK now know that you have one opportunity to do the chapter 11 pre-quiz when you click on it it says I've already taken it um, and I've clicked on it so I actually can but once you do that you click submit and that you have one chance to do the pre-quiz the pre-quiz is not calculated in your in your module score unless you score 90 or better alright multimedia again is here now notice I'm not clicking the back button I can either click the OK button it will take me directly back or I click back over here when you click the back button, it doesn't refresh what you had already. Okay? Now, once you take the pre-quiz, you will be able to see scores here. And mine are all zeros because I just clicked um, through questions so that you would actually see something here. Now, but when you click on them, you're going to see maybe, for example, 58% which means that you would know 58% of the material that's correlated to that homework based on what you got right on the pre-quiz. Okay? I'm going to click into homework one and just click on question one so you can see what a homework in my math lab looks like. All right. So here's a homework problem, but notice to the right-hand side, you have a help me solve this button which will take you through step by step solving that you'll have to answer questions you'll click continue and then do the check alright you can view an example which will show you another example that's just like this problem alright now when you use either of those two options Notice that I have this one wrong. Okay. I can click back on it. Why is it not allowing me to make? Oh, because I went in the wrong way. See, don't be guilty of doing what I just did. <laughs> if you access the test via the test from clicking like I did on when we went to the results and I clicked there, if you access either here or at any other location, then you're not going to be able to upgrade your work. So if you click on homework, and then click instead of on C score and then go we're going to click directly on homework one and notice this one looks different than the other one and I'm just going to put an answer in here Notice that I have to click there, and then I click check answer. It's not correct. Okay, I'm going to check it again. It says it's not correct again, but it's giving you a hint each time. And notice it says final check when it's the last time I can do it. And it says no, it's not correct. Your answers are this. This is the correct answer. Now, notice that up here you have...
you have one problem and you've already actually missed it. Okay? So if I click here, Okay, so I get one right, but I didn't get the others right. So notice I missed these here in the middle. Okay, and then I click on similar exercise. I'm sorry. I had one problem. Now, notice this. It says best score is this. This attempt is this. We want to save the best score. So let's save. All right, now, when I go back here and... After I clicked on that similar question, I can go through again and I can keep working that until I get it correctly. So at this point, I might want to try help me solve this. So that would give me all the resources that I have. Okay, now likewise, there's also a video that you can watch related to it. There's the direct connection exactly to the textbook. And it takes us exactly to where the textbook is that's related to this particular piece. Okay. Now, notice that connect to a tutor cost in my math lab. But if you have questions about a problem, if you copy this down and go back to Brain Fuse, which is located in Blackboard, then you can ask for help. Now, Ask My Instructor does nothing except opens an email. And it's going to send an email to me. I can type in a question, click send. No, that I probably am not going to get back with this until probably 24 hours. Because I typically don't review mail related to homework questions except every, every once a day. Okay? Once you're finished, you can always click on Overview and see what you actually did. So if you are confused about which ones you've worked, so if you look, see, this is a dark green circle. This one is yellow. Okay, these don't have any. So we know that we haven't done anything with those. Dark circles indicate that we've actually worked. And... It's not necessary to save, but I always have students who save it every time just to be safe. Okay? Now, for some reason, the calculator's not here, but it will be here when you open up the next time. And the calculator is also over to the right-hand side. Okay. Now, I'm closing that out. Going back here. Now... I don't click on quizzes and tests typically because when I click on quizzes and tests, it shows me all of this stuff related to chapter things. Okay? And my module work is all going to be up here in the top. Okay? So if you have any questions about my math lab, don't hesitate to give me a call or to email me.